Hello you, I'm Danny. I'm here with Robin. Hello. Ragni. Hi. And Hitomi's here too. And today, well, we're going to play some more Monster Hunter, but this time we've got a plan. We've made so far two main enemies. Who are those enemies? Does anyone know? Oh, oh, I know. Ragni, well, do you know? Uh, 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 is it, um, Anjanath? That's Teacher. right. That's Teacher. right. Think me, please. I know. <laughs> it's actually, to be, fair, to be fair, it is actually more true that we've made enemies it, of the yes. Anjanath. <laughs> Don't like to talk about that. <laughs> is it, is it, uh, Nursilla? Not Who? even in this game. Oh. Is that a Bloodborne boss? It's, it's a it spider. Oh, okay, so yeah, it sounds like a Bloodborne boss yeah. then. <laughs> no! <laughs> the two main enemies we've made so far are the Nergigante, who is the grumpy elder dragon who showed up to eat elder dragons, and also the Basil Juice, the big flying jerk who just shows up to cause trouble. <laughs> so today, we're going to try smash both of them, I think. The Beetlejuice. The Beetlejuice. I'm saying it properly at the start, and then we can slide into it. It's just the so like... Labels. If you say Basil G Geist three times fast, it shows up to bombard you. It also <laughs> shows up if you don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Basically shows up if you start thinking about anything. <laughs> Limited to things that are the Beetlejuice juice and things that aren't the Beetlejuice. juice. And he has posted a quest. On time too. I like that. It'd be nice to join it. So I don't think you can join me quite yet because I haven't seen the Nagagante. That's oh, we're right. going to get Nagagante first. Oh, yeah. You, you never know. <laughs> Beetlejuice might show up. Uh... <laughs> you never know. Maybe. We can hope. What's the opposite of hope? Well... Uh... e -paw. <sighs> You're right. <laughs> We've taken a few days off, so we're all rowdy now. <laughs> so I don't know if I've found the Nergigante. I've just got a cutscene of me checking out some crystals. Same. I love crystals. What have you done, crystals? Oh, it's the little guys. Oh, the little guys. I like them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, that's really cute and also scary. <laughs> oh wait, this one's much less cute. Big spiny. He's so spiny and also, the thing is, his horns are very disproportionate. <laughs> yeah. It just, it looks like he maybe should have stopped growing them a little bit before. <laughs> maybe trim them a bit. Yeah, it's, it's basically the monster equivalent of like clipping your nails, isn't it? Uh, oh, okay, I was going to say you can join now, but you've already got the idea. Yep, on our way. I'm, I'm still eating, oh no. Big chomps. It's okay, you can come down here and eat monsters soon. Are you, are you not hungry for monsters? Well, no, if you go it kind of tastes, um... Very, I'm actually very sinewy, yeah. Uh, no, it's like, it's like a pomegranate. You've got to put a lot of work in to get around the awkward bits. But once you do... <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, I don't like pomegranate. Oh, this, that's going to be a problem then. <laughs> Both these monsters are pomegranate. Actually, Nogagante's a pomegranate, but the, be the beetle juice is a lot more like a sort of angry pineapple. Yeah. I Wait, no, it's a corn cob. It is a corn cob. No, Ragni's got it. Oh, but you can't put a corn cob in a smoothie. <laughs> you can put have any you tried? In a smoothie. <laughs> you know what? I haven't. You're right. <laughs> this is on me. <laughs> um, wait until the Devil Joe is in the game because pickle. Yeah, I know Devil Joe's a pickle. I don't know if I've seen Devil Joe. Is it even common? Yeah, yeah. They are apparently like a, a notoriously rude monster who just shows up to ruin your day. Yeah, like the um, like the uh, Beetle Juice, but they didn't fly. <laughs> they didn't fuck around. Hello. Nice hatches. Hey, up, Chuck. Oh fuck. 
I turned around to look at you, and like at the same time, you just went, oh, oh. oh. Argigante. Hello. Okay. Learning new monsters is absolutely terrifying. I hope you don't mind me taking my time and being very, very shy of him. Go for it. Oh, well, he's, he's, he's very dangerous. <sighs> it's alright, I've got my cheating mantle on. Ah. Hey, the vitality mantle, it changes everything. <laughs> <laughs> I tried using the thunder mantle against the great Gyros the other day, and while its attacks normally paralyze you, it was just soaking them all up. It was really good. I can see why they give you after fighting the Kirin. Yeah. Evil beast of nothing but electric. I do not like Kirin. I think they're really cute in theory, but they're so... The fight's so electrifying. Such mean jerks. Have you already mounted it? Uh, yeah, uh, look, looking at that, I think Ragni's mount message is just, oh dear, well, here I go. <laughs> <laughs> Which is... I changed all my messages like two minutes before the stream started. That's, That's a very problem. funny one. The good bit about always being in demon mode is that I never get my mount messages showing up. Get that tail, bro! Oh! Try to Sorry. get the tail. It's very hard to break. I'm very, very sorry, Hidemi. I was midway through my combo and couldn't stop. <laughs> I, I exploded! Uh, that was uh, the time you used the weapon fire on the lance. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> It's alright, they got their revenge on me. <laughs> yep. Um, I've also... I don't know if this is going to be a problem for anyone else, but I've brought some jewel blades with blast on them. No, that's not a problem oh, for anyone else. That's, that's really very good. good. Okay, hang on, there's a Negagante material on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab it. I should grab it. I have a question. Oh, a do dragon's the... treasure! Sorry, <laughs> Ragni. Do the materials that fall on the ground, like, are they player specific? Or, like, if yeah, I pick I got, one up? I got a Nergiganti regrowth plate from the ground, and Danny got. The I got the dragon's treasure! Dragon's okay, so, treasure. like, I'm not, I'm not stealing loot from you, is what I mean. No, no, okay. just grab as much as you can. Oh, God. To be fair, in that case, that's just taking payment for services if you're stealing loot from me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I already killed like 50 of those. Oh, oh wow, oh. wow. <laughs> I don't show it. <laughs> that, that, was, <laughs> that was a big swipe they just did. Uh, I swear I'm not that bad. <laughs> if there's one thing I've learned, it's that being on stream with this game apparently makes things go really wild. The old cloud. Have some powder. Thanks! Th thanks for the help! Oh, Hitomi made a heal cloud. Oh, tight. So, okay. these are, I think I've mentioned them before, but like the mantles, these are tools Stop you can carry. Stop fucking chasing me! I'm trying to heal! You're right, Alan. <laughs> no, I'm clearly not. Sorry, would you prefer Alan or would you like Yuko in that situation? Oh, uh, I know I you say you've been doing the Nichijo voice a lot. I think it's an Alan, honestly. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, what were you saying? Uh, no, it's alright, I just sort of did a big uh, Jewel Blades Devil Twist right into its tummy, oh. and then got sat on. I think I'm gonna trade some of that mega, mega armor skin. That sounds like a good idea. Ah! I think for I think for this fight, you're gonna want to have your nutrients in your armor skin. Mm -hmm. I need to start bringing armor skin with me. I've started carrying... Um, an, an armor charm as well, which is an item that just gives you passive armor. It's really good. It's very good. It's just getting some stats, basically. You get a better version of it later on as well. But we'll so we'll I actually already later. know about that. Uh, um. <laughs> it turns out you have to kill Beetlejuice to get it. So yeah. by the end of today, we'll all have one, maybe. Hopefully. And then that means that you can carry the upgraded Ooh. one and the shitty one. Which, so you can get more than <laughs> twice the armor. I mean, I don't want to sound, like, ungrateful here, so, like, the shitty one's very good, too. Yeah. Did someone just... Ah! Oh, Robin! Robin, Robin got ups! Um, sorry for accidentally chopping you to pieces with the Heavenly Demon Blade slash dance. No, go for it. I'm wearing armor. <laughs> You're a grown-up. You can take it. <laughs> Hey, what? He's very rowdy, even though he's been mounted. 
Give me that tail. We want that tail. The tail is very difficult to break. We're gonna do our best though. Wow, what was uh, that? Good. That was, that was me! Oh. Oh, did you do your oh, tail off, tail off! I did two things. I did a lot of things. Good job. I love Charge Blade. It's very explodey. Charge Blade rules. It seems very cool. What's, very a, what's a dragon okay, so pod? Let's, let's go. Dragon pods are um, uh, like the thorn pods and things, but they do dragon damage. Oh, okay. Hey, we can we can carve this tail twice. It's a big tail. No, no, there was a um, there was a. Oh, was there a material? Oh, was there? There's okay. a material right next to the tail. Uh, here's something I recommend: mining as many ore spots as you can find, because fusium ore only grows in the rare bits here, and it's a complete bug as it gets. Hey, that sounds like good advice, but just in general, not just here. Always be yeah. nicking stuff. Um, yeah, Juice, the drill blades are really cool, and you do the Naruto run all the time and lots of flips. Uh, I, I'm the only person who uses them, basically. Everyone else uses the really cool weapons that do damage. Kofi uses the drill blades. That's true, no, he does. No, your weapons are cool. <laughs> so, that was the most like, oh, don't worry, darling, your weapons are really cool. <laughs> don't listen flashy. to the other kids. Don't listen to the but other kids. But I mean it. <laughs> I did bully you one time at EGX and told you to try using Yeah, Warlock, you and was. then everyone else we were with joined in. And So this is when we were playing the demo for Monster Hunter World at the booth, and then the person manning the booth joined in. <laughs> <laughs> Which, you yeah. know what, is fair. I think my reasoning there is that I want more people to use the lance. It's very cool. Then why don't you use it? So graduating from the lance, I used to use it all the time. Oh! Wow! Oh, it broke its own house. <laughs> it's, why would we care? It's his house. Uh, well, I'm more excited because they've made a little ramp, which we're all queuing up on. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Do monsters have like some kind of cooldown for when you can mount them? Uh, so I'll talk about this when I'm. I don't have to concentrate on fighting the Nokagante. <laughs> you can't do two things at once. Well, I'm not fighting the Nokagante! I'll get s spread across the ground like a fine paste, like Nutella. Uh, Nutella's not a very fine paste, I'll be honest. It's quite It's alright. I really want to <laughs> break the horns. If only we brought a hammer. I imagine the hammer's quite good for that part. No! <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, thank God for my shield. <laughs> I'm out of white powder, unfortunately. So I'm running over to hit on this delicious looking cloud, and my yeah, mantle's just come up, so I might be okay. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He did the thing. That was oh, a very Robin, bad jump. You have the most fantastic timing with these things. <laughs> It always happens. <laughs> that rude, that rude Nagagante boy. Uh oh. Hey, Robin, get back. Oh shit. <laughs> hey, we oh, did we it. Oh, I want to come. Hey, we did it. It's okay. We can just do another one. Um, oh, yeah. I have, I have some Nagagante investigations. <laughs> Oh shit. I'll be honest, I thought that was going to take like five times as long. Oh no, well, you know, it's always easier with friends. That's true. Friends who know what they're doing. <laughs> Just running <laughs> around screaming. Screaming about their sips. We did it. Uh. It's in the furthest possible point from me. <laughs> Yay! Thanks, Tommy! Hopefully that's a cool screenshot. Oh god, my ending card's going to be rubbish, isn't it? No, it's going to be really good. I'm hoping it's you wanting to have a sip of a cloud and falling over. I, I found an unknown skull. Oh, I forgot there was bones at the back. I was too busy showing off. Oh, uh, yeah, when you get to high rank, you should try and dig in every bone that you can find, because Elder Bone Dragon Relics... No, nope. Elder Dragon Bone Relics. Elder Relic Dragon Bones? Are Some really combination of those words. Dra yeah, they're really Dra nice Dragon across. Bone Relics? Yeah. I uh, know, Dragon Bone Relic Elders. One of them. 
they're hard to come across. Um, you can only really find them so in Bone Piles. And you use them for a lot. Wonderful. Oh look, Danny, you have two uh, highlights. Yeah. We weren't looking at the big picture until we came to the Two highlights? Are you talking about my wonderful makeup? Because I won't call the heart a highlight. There's no, I mean the thing at the end where they, they say piece. you were a shiny collector or you're, uh, <laughs> oh. you did the most healing or stuff like that. I haven't got to that bit yet because I'm in a cutscene. Leo Whitefang's telling me about the ecosystem. <laughs> Very strong is the thing. Problem, child, but put to bed. The other elder dragon should revert to their. I really game. wanted uh, the handler to like hug you in that cutscene. You good. So she's you relieved you're go. alive. You do actually. You get a cutscene of like hugging as you go down a dangerous slope. Okay, but that's not. Well, that's the where the Rathalos appears. That yes. Is very There's a piece of the puzzle missing. How did this area end up becoming such a hotbed of energy in the first place? Enough energy to lure in a menace like that and convince it to switch habitats doesn't just naturally happen. <laughs> oh, Raspberry Ripple is not really dressed for the occasion. <laughs> They're really sucking the air out of this cutscene. I've got them dressed like a little pink jester. Hmm. My palico uh, is currently wearing the Gadalaka torso, which is made out of straw and looks beautiful. What have we here? You can't do that. Hmm? Seeing the first handler discovering something and cutting afterwards. <laughs> oh, high commendation. I do quite like the random nature of, like, revealing decorations. It adds an element of the gacha, and I am ever so ruined by gacha. <laughs> um, I've kind of come to terms with it. I preferred uh, how it used to work in Monster Hunter 4, where you get random charms and then make your own decorations. But because they've changed how ability, uh, how armor skills work, I'm okay with it. It's fine. I'm not even upset. <laughs> Listen to how upset I don't sound. Wow, Robin, you sound like you're totally fine about I'm it. I'm fine with it. You're right, Robin. <laughs> yeah, I'm great. This is what happy people sound like. Is it just because the Nergigante messed up your jaw a little bit, so you can't really I move it? I just wanted to get some sips, okay? And now my jaw's wired shut. <laughs> <laughs> because the doctor said so. You didn't get sips, you got slaps. Yeah, I got slaps. I'm sorry. Hi, in. You did hear the word gacha. <laughs> it summoned her. <laughs> Unfortunately, Monster Hunter doesn't have idols or costumes, so it's not quite the same. Oh, if only though. All right, gather Where do you get better decorations? I think you um, can meld them or get lucky. You can meld them, and there's a thing that will happen with uh, tempered monsters where you can go for an even bigger random pull thing, but I am not good enough to kill tempered monsters yet because they're really, really tough. I actually happen to have an investigation for a tempered Anjanath if you'd like to do it. Absolutely not! I fought tempered Toby Kadachi and it one-shot me a bunch of times. That's just a Toby Kadachi! <laughs> Don't be mean to Toby Kadachi, he's trying his best. Yeah, apparently you did his best. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Robin does like to cart, though. Be nice to me! <laughs> I've not got a good track record here, have I? Our team has managed to attribute the tracks to three distinct Elder Dragons so far. Emphasis on so far. Well, like, I don't have... They don't let me meld anything better than Jewel 1. Yeah, um, once you get... There's a specific item you can get from Tempered Monsters that's good for that. Um, it gives you a random selection. Uh, also, I think you just carry on with uh, a Rinia Hunter and do my story, and they give you more stuff that you can meld, basically. The Elder Melder has to learn more melding recipes, I guess? Mm. What's a word for recipe that rhymes with elder and melder? We need to track down these beasts and pinpoint their exact. Hey, 
So I've decided to split you into three groups. Field team leader, you'll be heading up the ancient forest investigation. <laughs> Sorry, I'm stumped. Yeah, that's an impossible <laughs> task, Danny. That one's yours. <laughs> Sorry, I just had a really odd moment of remembering. Like, the commander just called him field team leader. <laughs> <laughs> that's your grandson. We'll be needing the third <laughs> My grandson, for field team leader, or as we called him growing up, Fieldy. <laughs> Last God, it's it's band, kind though. of interesting that no one has a name in this game. Yeah. Like, that's the way Monster Hunter has always been, right? Basically, no one has names, just titles? Um, I can't remember any other named characters from previous games. They've always been, like, the village chief and the supply person. Oh, that's a good point. Like, oh, wait, no, I can think of one, and uh, their name is Nako. And then in brackets, it means cat. And <laughs> oh, they, no. the title. they say a bunch of Japanese to you and then they translate it. And it's really good. Um, that sounds like the strongest localization work I've ever heard in my life. Yep! <laughs> what, what game was that? Uh, three Ultimate. Oh. I think they're probably in four as well, I think about it. <laughs> the Ghosty Captain turns up later. Sorry, Frown. I really appreciate you typing it out, too. Sorry, Robin, beat to the punch. <laughs> See ya. Oh, Neko shows up in Generations as well. Yeah, so there's two named characters. There's Neko means cat and Poogie. <gasps> Poogie, of course. Poogie is very important. So there's no human with a... <laughs> I mean, there's I us. Not. Showing any signs of settling down, then we'll have to look into it. We're on the hunt. Hey, so my quest is now we basically gotta go chase some elder dragons and stuff, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So you know who else is really good at chasing elder dragons? <laughs> no gigante. No! Oh <laughs> Is it me? It's it's Radney, that's right, it is you. <laughs> I'm going to need your help. <laughs> oh, speaking of more recipes, my Elder Melder just learnt some too. Oh, nice. Welcome to Hunter Rank 14. It's pretty similar. It sounds very much like 13. Hey. Yep. Every time I talk to Chief Ecologist and they call me Dear Hunter, it just... Makes me worried I'm stuck in some kind of nightmare. Yeah, you can't. The problem is, Deer Hunter now is very associated with a particular type of nightmare, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. How majestic. Yo. I suppose at least they don't pronounce it Unter. Unter? Unter. What's that? That's, That's how people it. say Hunter in Bloodborne. It's either like a soft, friendly one or like an aggressive northern yeah. one. Deer Hunter. Hey, off, Ponta. I'm gonna teach you how to protect yourself. <laughs> Keep it together, okay? Don't use that bloody shield, Ponta. It engenders passivity. <laughs> I feel like I say this every month, but when are we gonna get called up to be in a Souls game? <laughs> Gosh, I'm sorry. I'm hearing a lot of accents, and I feel very inadequate. All right. <laughs> oh, please. Ragni, you, you absolutely don't have a Souls accent, but that's maybe a benefit. I feel there should be an American in one of the Souls games. I can't really do any kind of accent. Wait, are you reason... American or...? I'm French. <laughs> what? I, I, can do, I can do the French accent if you want. That's... that's a... Okay, first of all... Robin, that is the worst shot you've ever made. That's, I, I've never fucked as bad, I just <laughs> fucked it then. <laughs> How was I supposed to guess that they're French? <laughs> because of a quite pronounced French accent. Some, not, could be more pronounced, I'll be honest. Oh, my, my, my chérie. <laughs> Good luck. I'll be honest. <laughs> Fuck this one, haven't I? <laughs> I'm sorry, to Robin. Be, to be fair, I have a much better English accent than most French people. Yeah, I was very surprised. 
Um, so, like, a lot of French people actually don't believe me when I say I'm French. <laughs> I couldn't believe you either. <laughs> anyway, yeah, there should be more French accents and Bloodborne's and Dark Souls. That's, oh, absolutely. That's we've reached. Oh. Actually, I'm... I, the... I forget. The black lady who's at the, um... Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a lady downstairs in, um... Yeah, I... She thing. sounds French. She is French, yeah. I can tell because she says, oh, oh, oh when you talk to her. I go, ah! That's not true. <laughs> that is apparently the only way Robin knows a French accent, though. No, no, there's not... I've never heard a single French person say, ho oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's just something you made up. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, do you mean you as in Robin, or you as in our entire wretched country? Because probably both. <laughs> Your entire, uh... Other people. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. Um, Asymmetric on chat just mentioned about Peter, Peter Serafinowicz being in both Dark Souls and The Tick. And just to add, sprinkle one on the top, like a third God. column, he was also the voice of Darth Maul in one of those Star Wars prequels. Mm -hmm. Peter Serafinowicz had done a lot of weird stuff. Ooh, Hitomi just posted a quest. I was just about to ask, what should we do? Are we going to fight the large bagel? Well, I was wondering if we were going to fight them directly or maybe summon one. <laughs> I mean, if uh, we. Well, it's do better a quest to, to fight, fight it directly. Because then it won't interrupt you, yeah. And, and you get more rewards towards. Fight, like, yeah. if you just fight it otherwise on a quest, it doesn't really give you much. Oh, is it only in the Elder's Recess? That's okay. That's fine. I mean, I you, say that, you say they won't interrupt you, but you never know, a second one might come down. <laughs> No, my uh, problem with uh, with Beetlejuice is every time I want to fight Beetlejuice alone, it never stops moving around and it never wants to see me. <laughs> the <prison laughs> traps them. Actually, that is a good point. I wonder if this Beetlejuice is less prone to running away because we're actually after it. Hi, Matt. Um, I was going to say something else about the Beetlejuice. Is Beetlejuice weak to... Everything's weak to, to to exploding jewel blades. That's what I'm hoping. To, it's weak to thunder. Danny, you're mostly right. The biggest weakness is thunder, and then ice dragon, poison sleep paralysis. Fire doesn't work. Let's just bring my big Nergiganti sword. I'm taking my charge blade that's got white sharpness because I want to flex. <laughs> I... I'm now that I've got to blue sharpness. I'm realizing how important sharpness is. Oh yeah, <laughs> sharpness is, is more damage. Um, also, whilst fighting the Kirin, which I did for the first time yesterday off stream. Sorry, everyone. Um, turns out your weapons bounce off when they're below blue as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess that's it's an like Elder Dragon thing. The armor that I've got at the moment has got speed sharpening and also um, I think it's something called like safety polish. Which means that, um, <laughs> I think it's called that. It means that, um, I sharpen and it only takes one animation to finish sharpening. But then also for like 30 seconds afterwards or something, it stays razor sharp. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah. Safety polish made it sound like, okay, you take two extra po like polishing cycles, but you put a special varnish on. <laughs> yeah, you, you wax it. Make sure no dirt gets on your sword. <laughs> Protective polish, which is I'm just gonna, as bad, really. I'm gonna drink this mega demon drug. You know what? I'm gonna try and actually remember to put my life powder on my quick menu, because I never do. Oh, I never use that. I, I always bring it, it and have never used one. <laughs> I should, I should set up my quick menu. It would probably save me a few times. <laughs> it took me a little while to get used to, but oh my goodness when I did. Oh, oh, there's Beetlejuice oh, flying. Found it! 
Every time I try to get to Betelgeuse, it just flies away. It not, does never want to see me. Only wants to see me when I'm looking for someone else. Aragonte. <laughs> yeah. Here's Aragonte. <laughs> oh, Lynx is right. Safety polish also probably means you can't cut yourself on your weapon. Watch me. Camp here mm. would make our lives Watch so me crazy. injure myself in some way. So I'm rather expecting Beetlejuice to do that. Well, yeah. Beetlejuice is very explodey. Beetlejuice is also... Sweet Corn puts it so well, I can't believe I didn't think of that one beforehand, but you're completely right, Ragni. Just drops a few kernels wherever they go. Yeah, it's disgusting. <gasps> Watch it just fly away the second we get to it. <laughs> Make us walk all the way up here. You can use wedge beetles so you don't need to climb. Oh, that's true. I keep forgetting you can do that. Wedge beetles are the best. Wedge cool beetles way. are the best. There's our sweet corn. Oh, God. <laughs> and then everyone makes a terrible noise in unison. And now it's popcorn. It is popcorn. The analogy works. It's perfect. <laughs> Ooh, so shouty. They're very shouty. <gasps> ha! It's around this time I remember that I'm wearing an armor that's very, very weak to fire. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm I'm wearing Beetlejuice skin, so I'm strong to fire. Oh, oh yeah. wow, you can just have as much fire as you like. Turns <laughs> out that the armors that you craft are usually the best thing possible for fighting that specific monster. Well, it makes sense that they would be resilient to their own thing, you know. Yeah. Why would a Beetlejuice be weak to fire? Though, to be fair to my extremely silly plan, I am wearing some of the Anjanath set too, so maybe it'll work out. It should be fine. I've never been scared before. Show off. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, sorry, that's clearly a lie, isn't it? I'm scared right now. I just blew up its leg, that's cool. Why be scared? Oh, you can wedge Beetle up there, okay. I never, for some reason, I never thought to use wedge beetles in fights. Oh yeah, seriously, offensively, wedge beetles are so much fun to use. Wow! I've ever used wow. wedge beetles. That was a big stun. It's a big stun. There's a lot of things in this game that I don't realize are there. Mm. I think it's just like they're they're so not. Oh, what's that gonna be? <laughs> they're so oh, not yeah, like don't, directly. Don't be too close to beetles just when it's glowing because that means everything's exploding. Like, it, normally, its scale will explode when there, something hits them, but when it's glowing, they just explode right away. I put a trap down, let's come down to a base back into it. Oh, it's doing its pocket so, Probably just want to leave it alone when it's glowing. I'm going to throw some crystal burst at it, because I found some. Rude. Uh, I worked. cut the tail off. Uh, what? How, how, how do we get up there? <laughs> just climb the wall. Oh, okay. I keep jumping off. I keep doing some Matrix shit. Oh, we can just you can just do that. Yeah, it's not a very high wall, so you can. I'm still on, I'm on top of it again. <laughs> Jump on the mount. Yeah, okay. Ragni's just running this. <laughs> Look, I killed a lot of Beetlejuice. <laughs> it shows. One day I just got tired. I was like, I'm taking you down. Honestly, yeah. Best way to go about it. I'm sick of this guy. I've had enough of this guy. I've had enough of this guy. Now, whenever a beetle just interrupts me, I just cut, cut its tail off and it goes away. Uh, that will do it, yeah. Where are the rest of its brakes then? Is it uh, paws and heads and back? <laughs> what? For a second, I just thought you said, where's the rest of its brains? <laughs> in, in the corn cob? Each Gross. kernel is another brain. Well, yeah. that went back and set. That is all Can I carve that tail? Uh, to be honest, Robin, that went much better than I expected. I put down a trap and it didn't do anything. It flew away from the trap, then when I looked back round, Ragni had mounted it, cut its tail off, and beaten it up. 
uh, using witch beacons is also China. very fun uh, for the bit in the Coral Highlands where there's loads and loads of climbing. Yeah, I chased that silly little elder horse up there and remembered they existed for that. Mm -hmm. Oh, the wedge beetles feel so fun to use. I get that. Is that uh, something the armory lady sells? Huh? Oh, the vitality mantle. Oh, the beetle. Oh no, you can just do that right, right from the start of the game. Yeah, if you if oh. you aim your slinger at a wedge beetle and press circle, you'll just do a big old jump up to them. You need some spider Oh, is that what these creatures are for? Yeah. yeah. I was wondering. No, it's alright. I didn't know either because no one tells you. <laughs> <laughs> you but can also do that to catch uh, rides on wing drakes if you're close enough, but also then you run the risk of them just flying away and leaving. So. <laughs> I think I did that accidentally once. <laughs> On fire. Well, you have been doing very well. No. <laughs> oh, the literal Don't sense. I mean, it, oh, God, oh no. sorry. sorry, that was what that was all me. That was my fault. Come <laughs> <laughs> on. Oh, I can't eat yet. That's. I think that's generally the worst part about dying. The, the like the lack of of max health increase from food. Yeah. I'll just drink my nutrients. <laughs> You've got to be humble, healthy. Humble. You're still a growing girl. You drink your nutrients. I'm really not. I'm very tall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tall I still get like family members who haven't seen me in a while telling me, have you grown up since last time? <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm no. just tall and you forget how tall I am. They've got shorter. Oh, it's going to explode. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Probably. Because they're old now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's so many like, kernels coming out. Are you seeing kernels? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like kernels of corn. Like. Like the military grade? The... With a K. It's, it's pronounced the same way. <laughs> oh dear, I'm all stunned. I think my. Yeah, my. Ah. Ah. Uh, return to Captain Camp Party and we can just. Yeah, let's give that another go. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. It's You really just have to be very careful with the exploding stuff. If it's any consolation, I think I was about to explode too. I was in its bombing run, stunned. Yeah, I carry a, a, an enticed turn charm because I got tired of just dying because I can't move. It's it's pretty much the worst. Yeah. It's sort of okay in multiplayer, but in single player, getting stunned is just a death sentence. Yeah. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes your panic goes there and sometimes another monster will come in and swap the thing before it charges you in the face. Other times, you just have to take a hit. Other times, the Odogaron is going to just jump on top of you. Oh, did you go back to the, path, to the camp? I mean, not back, back to the um, HQ? I went back to the HQ by mistake. I thought we were going oh, back to the camp. Oh, okay. I don't think it matters. I think we can still get the quest from... No, no, really. It's just there's uh, less loading times. Oh, yeah. I thought I, I was going back to the camp. <laughs> I can't post a new quest for some reason. Oh, you have the cool AG sword. That's, um... Uh, made from I have the, that too! It's made from the Odagoron. Adag it's the, yeah, uh... I have it. Rarity I have Able. it too. It's the only charge blade that has white sharpness as well, I think. It... It's very cool. Yeah, I don't... I don't really know how the sharpness bonus works. I don't... Is, does that do more damage than the Nergigante blade? Yes. So I think that, um... Yellow sharpness means you do, uh... Well, 100% damage. Uh, Green no, sharpness is... Uh, yellow is, is, like... I thought yellow was, like, 85%. Oh, okay. But, like, sharpness is oh. just a multiplier on your weapon damage. Yeah. Um, whereas, like, green will do 100 or maybe 100... Four percent. It's a tiny uh, whereas, bit above. Yeah, whereas blue does like 120 or a bit more than that, and it's kind like, of crazy. I don't even know how much more white does, but it's gotta be worth it. The, like um, Nergigante says, it has 720 attack, and then Odium, which has white sharpness, says it has 576 damage. Mm. But then 
it has wipe chart, and so I don't know how that calculates if that's more damage. Yeah, that's an excellent point. Um, I think that also because um, it's got wipe sharpness, you're going to get a lot of use out of it, not bouncing off as much. Yeah. There's not very much that blue sharpness does bounce off of, but um, mm -hmm. even fighting elf dragons is going to come in handy. Mm -hmm. oh. Also, I realized that I was going to tell you how to, how a mounting works, and they just didn't. Oops. Um, basically, uh, there's a bar. Uh, actually, Danny, if you posted your quest, or uh, I was waiting for Tommy to do it. Oh, okay. Because they posted it last time. I think it's it's telling me I have to head back to accept a quest. I should be able to post it now. I could try posting one if you want, but I don't know if I have it. You sh should have explain it explain now. mounting while you do it, Robin. Um, I've posted the quest. Um, yeah, mounting works. So imagine there's this bar, and actually all of the um. Yeah, so st all, all the status effects basically. All status effects work this way, yeah. Like, like paralyzed have... works this way, poison works this way as well. You have to satisfy a certain amount. So, like, yeah. a status effect isn't either really... A status effect is on or off, but, like, to make it go on, you have to get it above a certain invisible number. It's yeah. We've mentioned it before, but it is actually genuinely a bit like Dark Souls. In the, yeah, the Dark like, Souls thing. It works the same way to trigger a status effect. You hit does them it, does with... it go down progressively if you I, don't do anything? I believe so. Um, so, I think the first time it's always going to be, like, like arbitrary, let's say, 100. Um, if... And then if the monster has three stars, then it's going to be lower. If it's got one star, and I think it's going to be higher. I'm sorry to interrupt. Have you posted a quest, Robin? Yes. I can't join it. Can you come back up? Ugh. Sorry. Oh, so join the part. That seems frustrating. Okay. Yeah, it's you can't join quests. You have to. You all have to be in the same place, I think. Uh, Danny, you might be able to post post it. Say rank seven one. Yeah, um, every time you hit an enemy, that uh, I believe with status effect weapon, there's a one in three chance of um, a one in three chance of the effect working. Um, and if, if it does that, then it's going to increase it by that number. So the higher the status effect number is at the equipment info screen, then the more damp, then the more it's going to build that bar up. Uh, mounting works the same way. But basically, the first time you do it, you're almost guaranteed to uh, get it with the mounting attack. Then after that, um, you need to hit it more and more times uh, mm -hmm. because that max number goes up uh, with every successful mount. I see. I think that's it. I don't hope that wasn't too confusing. I did kind of stumble over my words a little. Just, just jump on it until you stick on it. Yeah, and every time you jump on it, you need to hit it more times to jump on it. Um, from what I've learnt. <clears throat> The vast majority of jump like, attacks in the air will do mounting damage. There are some that don't, though. The one I know is this is something I mentioned on stream, like idly wondering. Um, in demon mode, dual blades don't seem to do mounting damage in the air because they do their heavenly blade dance instead. Um, and I would assume there are other weapons that do the same. It's a bit silly. Again, it's, it's there are mechanics they don't really explain to you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I should go eat. Oh, definitely. You can't hunt on an empty stomach. No. Honestly, Ivy, I think I'd agree. It isn't how you usually think of status effect working, but I think it actually makes a lot more sense. It's it's more, like you say, it's more predictable. Why can I have an ice cream? I... You know that giant... I think it's a paella. It's like a giant pile of rice and there's some, like, some, I think they're mussels on top. Replace that with a big pile of ice cream for me. <laughs> my god. What, are you, are you saying you couldn't do it, Robin? I'm saying that's a lot of ice cream. It's a lot of paella. True, I don't understand these hunters' appetites. <laughs> Hunting the works hunter, the hunger up. The hunt, look, the hunter does a lot of physical work. They need food. True. To fuel that. No, 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 I'm really sorry. I'm not saying rice and ice cream. Replace the paella with ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> it's just rice pudding, isn't it? Rice cream. <laughs> oh. There's been a terrible miscommunication. <laughs> I don't know, I'm really... My fridge is just like a meter away from me. I'm really tempted to just pick up some ice cream. <laughs> you can't just 
start showing off like that. <laughs> You're going to make us all very upset if you just like eating ice cream on stream when we don't have any. Mine's like a whole room away. Oh. Mine's down the shops because I don't have any in the house right now. I'm sorry. Uh, Hitomi, are you ready to go? If you come to my house, you can have some. Alright, I'll get on the next plane to America. It's where you Canada. live. <laughs> it, it's Canada. Robin, oh. you've done it again! It's it's Quebec, the place with all the people who speak... Uh, In an French. American accent. <laughs> who, who speak Old French and, and uh, use church words to swear. Wait, you can't just say that you don't think you sound like a blob on character and then say the words Old French. Old French and using church words to swear. Using church words to swear <laughs> is a very good description of it. It's true, though. Oh, it, it absolutely like... is. Tabernacle. That's a very mean swear. Oh, I, I, I've, I've, um, I'm fortunate enough to have been run through the swears you mean before. They're very ing they're incredible. It's very weird. Like, I've been here for almost ten years now, and I still cannot take a, a French-Canadian person swearing seriously. <laughs> it's just silly. It's too silly. It's really odd. Like, is the, is the tabernacle just like a, li it's like a little room off to the side, isn't it? It's like a furniture thing. I don't know. I don't know church things. I'm going to have to Google tabernacle church things. <laughs> what is a church? I was... I'm sorry, I wasn't raised in church places. I was raised in <laughs> sin, which is why I wear so many bats now. <laughs> <laughs> Probably sin. Oh, a tabernacle is a fixed locked box. Yeah. Well, now we know. <laughs> this bird is bothering me. Oh, get him back. Hey, Danny, sit still. <laughs> <That No! is. laughs> it's so big! It's such a big sword! It's, it's so good! Judge Ray's so good. I thought I got away with that. I thought you got away with that, honestly. I don't think I could even knock you down if I try. Robin, can I try using the blade sure. dance on you? Oh. Someone just found a Beetlejuice. I think this will just sort of slightly annoy you. Oh. It's not slightly annoying me. <laughs> it just, <laughs> it's not really got an impact, has it? Bye! Oh, this is a good area. We can drop stuff on its head down here. Like what? Like these massive crystals up above. Oh, you can knock the crystals down! Mm-hmm. Did you not know that? There's a lot of, like, environmental traps that I never noticed until the monster just knocked them down by themselves. <laughs> yeah. There's the one that shows you in the cutscene against the Anjanath. Oh, yeah. it's not in this area anymore, okay. I was, I was riding, fighting the Rathalos and its lair once, and uh, the entire thing went tumbling down. It's so good! It broke a dam. It's so oh, good! The, I think the dam is probably my favourite one. The thing is, you can't break the dam yourself, you need to... Uh, go to the monster into doing it. Whereas, Much as I um, am very strong and brave, I'm not as strong and brave as a Rathalos. <laughs> uh, things like the crystals that are um, in, this, in the area you were just in. Uh, oh, no. uh, oh, 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 hang on, I can... Wait, wait, wait. I... Okay, I was going to hit you, but I was too busy being shouted at. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> crystals in that area and um, in the one way fight the Anjanath. Oh, no. Oh, How am I on fire? I had my cool drink! That's not how that works. <laughs> my insides are so cold, but my outsides are so hot. What I was going to say is, do we want to fight that's... it near the Dodo Karma? That's oh. a very, that's a very mood thing. My insides are cold, but my outsides are hot. <laughs> it's like that's like a life goal. I'm gonna put that on all my selfies from now on. <laughs> oh, oh, oh boy. I should I should do do better. Oh dear, I'm stunned. Do potions like scale on your health or is it always a flat amount? Um, I mean it's always a flat amount, but um, 
you never increase your max health. It's always just making your armor better. Right? Well, I mean, eating food increases your max health. That's true. Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't scale on... Oh, no! <laughs> I thought it did. I don't believe so. Because I drank a, a mega potion when my health was really low at some point because some monster just made it lower and it, gave, it didn't even fill the whole bar. Oh, that's different. Okay. That's the Dark Souls curse. Oh, I see. But so it only scales dead. Yeah. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm having a real bad show. Uh, it's okay. Have some powder. We could get it away from... Oh, I keep rolling right into them. Oh boy. This is not a good place to be. Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> what even? Hey, this area is bad. I can't tell if the Beetlejuice has exploded or if just the world exploded on me. Oh, oh, gee. oh that was a lot of fire. This area is really bad. This area is bad. Okay, no, it keeps dropping him. Yeah. I don't enjoy being near the Beetlejuice. It's not very nice, is it? No. There's so many popcorn kernels. I keep trying to like go in and do a swipe and get back out and that's not gonna work. What? It's the roly boy! The roller boy came to visit for about 0.2 seconds. I don't like when the roller boy visits. I'll be honest. It feels like I'm being, <laughs> it feels like I'm being hit in a hit and run. Beetlejuice, please go in a place with less fire. I'll just fire some poop at it. There's a mining outcrop here. Where are? Where is it? Um... Okay, I hit the Urgon with the poop instead. But I think that's just as good. Um, I just walked in and the Oregon is on the floor screaming, so whatever you did, I didn't like it. <laughs> oh, I think that was the Beetlejuice. Yeah, that was the Beetlejuice, to be fair. Uh, also, hey. do you like drinks and food fire that you? At uh, high velocities. I mean, no, but hey, you know what? This area is even worse to fight in than the last one. <laughs> um, it's not great, but I don't think it's as bad as the last one. Maybe I'm a little hung up on the fact there is an Oregon blocking the door. Oh, the Aragorn's <laughs> leaving now. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not so fucking sure, Robin. I wish the Beatles just would just settle down. What, like start a family? Yeah. Go home be start, a stop, stop being such a... It's alright. You can such say, a, you can say arsehole game. if you'd like. I don't think it's the polite version. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, I said arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a nice person. We aren't. No, I, I try to be, but then... Hey, this Oregon is 100% not leaving. I think it's because the Beetlejuice hit it uh, after you stinked it. Oh, is that how it works? I don't, I don't know. I think it just forgot that it was stinking. <laughs> <laughs> I would not forget I was... What? <laughs> Poop, honestly. Hey, it well, it left. It definitely left. Okay, I got the tail. Oh, nice. Great job. Wow. Again, you're putting in work. Well, he told me it was riding on it, so it made it easier. Oh. oh. I can hit Amy. Some kind of like teamwork? Oh, I'm stunned, I'm probably gonna die. Oh, jeez. Oh, I, I got away with my shield. Enjoy some powder. Thanks, I like dust. PC dust? dust? Yeah, it's like life powder's dust, isn't it? You just throw a bag of dust at him. Oh, we, oh we, is that the nickname we're using? Are we calling it Angel Dust from now on? No. Just, it's PC just dust. Yeah. <laughs> These little guys are not helping the situation. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I'm fine. OK, 
Okay, I got rid of him. <laughs> Thank you. Oh shit. Whoever knocked him down, you're doing a great job, sweetie. About, ah, about fighting relatively new monsters is, other than not knowing what my patterns are so you get hit constantly is, I never know when to do the move, so I'm always left swinging my swords around yeah. like a big dope. What, what I did is the, the armor I have uh, has earplugs to the maximum oh, level, is so when they shout, good. I just attack because it doesn't bother me at all. I am... Um... Very looking forward to getting some earplugs on my armor too. Well, if you want earplugs, uh, the Beetlejuice armor has that. It's the one I'm wearing. <laughs> <laughs> I missed. The kernels came out, then it breathed fire on them. That seems very rude to themselves. It knows how it works. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die. I can't, tell if it's just, I can't tell if it's stunning as well because that's just something they do, or if we're just getting hit a lot. I'm getting hit a lot. A little <laughs> bit. I think some monsters are better at stunning you. I feel like Diablo is better at them. Yeah. The bigger boys. Yeah. It's leaving the air so he can cut, cut his tail now. The mean boys. Alright, this is the first pass. Oh tail. no. Hey, what happened to Hitomi? Huh. Actually, better sharpen while we have a moment to. Yeah. I should do that. Oh no, I shouldn't do that! <laughs> just find them? It's right there! <laughs> I really want to harvest that amber, but I mean, if you're fighting, I suppose I'll help. No, it's okay. I'll be o I'll be okay. I'm oh, not okay. Don't say that. <laughs> this is I'm what happened very last badly. time. Oh, you're doing fine. Everyone always worries they're doing really, really badly, but we're doing fine. Oh, guess who? Wait. Oh, it's slime. Right. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh no, my blood. You weren't using it. <laughs> oh, it's going for my blood now. If you're not using it. Can I have some? Well, he was using it. Oh, I get it, bloody. <laughs> what is you? Oh, okay. There's just some rowdy little boy behind us. <laughs> Yeah. Like a gas dog causing problems. I don't I don't know what flavor of boy it is. Oh my god! Uh, ow! This is so I bad! Not, I did not see that big boy. They just keep rolling on in. Thank you. Have some power. Uh oh. Flying away or what? Not flying away, he's just being a nuisance. <laughs> um, the, the, the bomb thing is like... I guess a nuisance is technically what they're being, but nuisance is very light for what's going on. Hey, come slightly over here. Fine, you don't. What was over there? I wanted them to come closer to the ledge where I was up. Oh. I thought, I thought they were closer when I went up there. Sorry. Sorry, we're all. Oh. <laughs> we all got very, very, very close in the pile. So I swatted you with my attack, and then I got I shot think you got by Tommy's weapon fire. Yeah, that was beautiful. Very deserves. Yeah. 
Instant karma. So, uh, as, as the Jewel Blades one, I kind of expect it to be launched into the sky. It's called a layup. It's only a layup if I manage to do the if I manage to stick the landing. You yeah, got me it there. Might be, it might be going back to. Uh, yeah, we can capture it. Now. Oh wow, they're all limpy. There's some Uragar yeah. material here if you want some slime. <laughs> I love slime. Then do I have the tard ore for you? <laughs> Does anyone have a trap? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah, I don't. I forgot to pick one up. Wait. Oh! Oh, it's still here. I thought it cleared off. Yeah, I think we. Should, I think maybe he Tony shot it or something. Uh, I'll stick a trap down and do my best. Oh, oh haha. Uh -huh. Someone else did their best. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you. Yay! Alright, let's disband. This game's good. See, it went perfectly fine. Everyone yeah. was worried that we were, doing, they were having a bad time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. <laughs> I'm very proud of everyone. That was all our jobs and we got that done in like half an hour. You know, that tempered Anjanath is still there. Oh, um, <laughs> in keeping in the theme with Robin keeps getting all the best drops every time we stream, it's got a Basil Goose gem. I, I, I need that! I need that for my jewel blade! <laughs> oh, it's alright, I got a Smoke Jewel one. Smoke jewels every day. I don't get it. It's because you keep getting smoke jewels when you want something else, and like, ah, oh, smoke jewels oh, every, every day. Every day. <laughs> so that means. Again, I've gone for shiny collector. <gasps> Congratulations, Hitomi. Hitomi's a proper hunter now. Yay. I'm so proud I of them. Uh, Momo said you might want to call a buff angel dust, and uh, nope, it, it's called angel dust now. <laughs> I think I think you have to get to uh, Hunter Rank 69 first, though. <laughs> <laughs> at that point, like you get back to a stair and everyone's just there clapping and shouting nice at you. <laughs> it's a shame I can't. It's a shame that like once you pick your character's name, you stick with it. Because and it's also a shame that like they don't have any of these names in the um, guild cards because I really want to call. My character, the Avenging Disco Godfather, but well, the game won't let me do that for some reason. It's basically the equivalent of like just the game knocking the pen out of your hands. <laughs> and rightly so. No. Is that baby? Don't do that, it's silly. So what do you want to hunt next? We've got some time. Um, I think we should hunt anything that's in the Wild Spire Wastes, in the forest, or in the... Uh, in, in the three areas that jail. they have to find things yeah. in. I do think we should try that Anjanath, you know. The tempered like, did Yeah. You, did, you, did you pick up the quest where there, like, investigates these three areas? Uh, yes. Okay, so we yeah we should. So we just need to go to those and areas and, and just touch some tracks there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you you'll, know what? you'll find some blue tracks. Those mm -hmm. are the ones you want. I think we should try and fight the tempered Anjanath, but don't expect too much from me. Oh, I'll do I've, my best. I've never fought a tempered monster. That angry. Rough. I think I, I believe it just makes all the numbers higher, but it could be mistaken. I'm sure it'll be fine. I have fought <laughs> one before with Hitomi. Their numbers seemed bigger. Mm. Whoops, I, that's not where I meant to go. Uh, but it was weird, like, when I fought the um, Tempered Sobi, the first time I did it, I had no problems. Because I guess I just stayed on top of it and didn't let it do anything. The second time, it just wiped the floor with me. Ooh, I've got a Tempered Barath. Let's do that one. Yeah. Okay. Barith I is, like the Barrett. Yeah, you, you have a better track record with them than the Anjanath, don't you? Are you nice to me? Barith is a goofball. Yeah. They're all cute and muddy. 
Um, so I actually they don't... They in the mud. I don't think they, they do unlock quite this early map, but I fought a tempered Anjanath with Hitomi, and I think that got me some investigations and stuff. So I think uh, I think I kind of did a did a trick. Wow. Uh, like a uh, sequence break. Basically, I can upgrade my armor, so I'm just gonna <laughs> get me some more defense points. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Because, you know, I, I'd i really, really like to not die. I don't think it's going to happen, but I'd like to try. That you don't die, or that you will die? No, I'd like I'd like to maybe avoid it if I can. Mm, understandable. Avoid dying. It's only the bar. Wait, what was the Barath week two again? Uh, fire, if you manage to break all the um, mud off of it. Oh, tricky. Um... Oh well, explosions is a kind of fire, it's fine. Explosions is a kind of fire. Is there to see uh, how it handles blast? <sighs> it hates blast, you're in luck. Oh fantastic, let's do some blast on it. How do I take my blast off as well? Because if we get multiple people with uh, the same kind of element type, we're just going to get it happen a lot, which is good. So which one are we doing blast? Yeah. If we can, yeah, yeah, I've got a pretty good blast. <laughs> this is gonna get really, really rowdy really quickly. Mhm. Mm I can do blast. I give a blast weapon. Yeah, you take um water weapons to bust all the mud off. To wash then... the mud off. That's how you clean. Yeah. The... That's how you clean them. But once you've done that, it stops being weak to mud and starts being really weak to fire. Uh, also, if you take the water moss, you can just shoot the mud right off of it. Animal fact. Is a animal... Is a Barath a kind of animal, or is it a wyvern? Is a Barath a wyvern? How does this work? I think it's a brute wyvern. Let me check. <laughs> Barath is a brute wyvern. Don't ask me to explain what that means, but that, there you go. It's a wyvern who's grumpy. I think it's a wyvern that headbutts things. I think that's the distinction. <laughs> exactly, grumpy. Grumpy. They're all grumpy in this game. I'm gonna chomp. I'm chomping. Jumping? Chomping. Give us something to eat. Chomping? Um, Hitomi, we've got a quest up if you're okay to join us. Really, how scary can a tempered Barath be, right? They just do all the same attacks. And, like, Ooh. if you. Honestly, you're right. They do all the same attacks. So if you know how to avoid them, then you just won't die. We'll see if I can remember how to avoid them. Um, Inethica makes a good point. Brute Wyverns might be ones that don't fly. But there's also Piscine Wyverns. Yeah, the ones that live in the sea. So brute weapons are just like default, I guess. Is is what kind is the great Jagras? That's basically what we're going for. But also there are specified flying weapons as well. So, and then there's bird weapons. Yeah, all what, ones which are birds. Yeah, but the Kuriyaku and the Tsukiyaku are bird weapons, I believe. Yeah, because they're birds. Because they make chicken noises when you hit them. It's really <laughs> and good. They've got a beak. They go cluck, and they eat eggs. Oh, well, Jagras is a fanged wyvern. Mm. Is fanged the smallest kind, then? Presumably. Oh, if I was to make one change to this game to improve it, I really would like a way to like automatically restock your item box on a quest starting. 
Oh, instead of having to go to the thing and do it yourself. Yeah, that would be very yeah. helpful. I see what you mean. You're right. At least, at least someone told me about the restock. I told you that. I can't remember if it was, it was last <laughs> stream. That was like last week. Some chump told me that you just pressed the triangle I was, button. I was, I was being very grateful. I didn't say the word chump even once. Well, you should have done. <laughs> it I'm would sorry. have been accurate. I will correctly address you as a chump from now on. Thank you. I didn't, I didn't spend ten years at chump school. Ten years? Three years. I can't even remember how long you went to chump school. Yeah, that's why I got it first. What do they teach in chump school? You know, all, all levels of chumping, really. You start with basic chumpery and upgrade to champion chumpery. Chump stuff. Uh, I believe that the parts we want to look for are going to be in the deserty area. Uh, oh. We won't find many tracks in this bit, but that's okay. I think someone's already found it. Uh, no, I mean the uh, Elder Dragon bits that you're supposed to be tracking now. Oh, but... okay. Yeah, for the quest. I thought you meant the Barath. Uh, no, we found the Barath already. I'm gonna go shoot it with some Puddle Pods. Puddle Pod! Maybe one of the cutest names in a game filled with very cute names. Puddle Pod would also be a very good name for a Palico. Oh, you're right. Puddle hey, Danny, aren't Puddle Pod the... my MP3 player. Aren't Puddle Pod the band that had that song called Make Light? I think you and Ragni basically just went for the same joke. Like, it's very, very similar thematically. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I said mine first. <laughs> yeah, you got there first. Yeah. <laughs> it's very strong work. Oh, it's, it's all muddy. Oh, gross. Robin, you brought those puddle pods, right? Oh, it's so muddy! I'm gonna give it a wash! I've make, washed it! Make sure not to hit Ragni! Well, it's okay, I probably need a wash up. after this. I suppose you are right up on the mud. Wow! Oh, it fell down before I did my thing. It's like that you can do your thing now. Day. Oh, Hitomi, did you bring the Dodo Gama charge on? That's really good. I, I did. You did. We both did. Ha! <laughs> Fuck yeah. Why? What's so good about it? <laughs> it's a blast. Oh, okay. It explodes? Uh, yeah. Okay, exp admittedly, explosion's very cool. Very cool. Is the thing, right? Explosion's very cool. Look at that one. Oh, oh my god. Fuck. The Dota Garma Horde is the one I want to get. Does it have a funny name? Uh, no, it just has good skills. <laughs> Not all of them can be really, really cute. I've noticed that you do basically either get, like, Dota Garma Horn 3, or a cute weird name. Yeah. Or an edgy name. Like, Hates on Dying Flame. Don't oh. talk shit about Hates on Dying Flame. <laughs> Why not? It's very good! Because you'll be on the receiving end of it. <laughs> I feel like if you're going to go for an edgy name, and something like Hates Undying Flame is maybe the best the best edgy name in the game I've seen, ever seen. Oh no, completely. It has to be something along those lines. Although again, I do, I feel like I mention it a lot. I do just want to like, bring up the very early Jewel Blades called the Magnus Pangus again. <laughs> it's a good name. I don't, I don't even understand. They're just, like, they're just water. <laughs> Oof! You alright? Oh, I just got spotted a little bit. Did he put his big tooth on you? Ow! I'm fine. I'm fine. It's, it's fine! I'm fine. It's fine. I'm not owned. Uh, Ragni, <laughs> did you know that you can, um, if you hold back an X when you do your amped element discharge, you can do a version that only uses one thing instead of using all five? It's all limpy already. Why would I do that? Because sometimes you don't want to use all five things because it's a bit of a hassle to recharge them. No. I don't know. That's that sounds that sounds like a coward's move, Robin. I never. I've always wanted to discharge my entire sword. Oh, <laughs> you charged it the whole way for this. It sounded very dirty when I said that. <laughs> Oh, 
I just realized it halfway through and I felt bad. <laughs> I'll be honest, this is not the ideal location to fight them, but it'll work out. It was running away, I did the best I could, right? No, I know, it's just, it's a very cramped area and you are sort of embedded into a wall. Oh! Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, that was, that <laughs> oh, was a poor thing. <laughs> Never stood a chance. Alright, Anjanath. <laughs> Time for an Anjanath. Genuinely expected that to be a little rougher than it was. There was um, four of us, and we didn't give it a single solitary chance, I suppose. Uh, that's true. But like, I got hit by it a couple of times and didn't lose any health or anything. Yeah. It's a chump. Now, are we talking? Are we dressing Robin properly here, or is it the Barith? <laughs> of course, very chumpy. But they're lovely. They're all silly. Oh. Oh, tight. Daddy, press R3. Oh yeah, I should do that. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget. Why should we never go back to camp? Because, um, because it's... it's... Uh, because at the base you can go and talk to other people and do other things. You go back to the camp if you want to run the same mission again. Um... Like, it just, it's quicker to load in if you go back to the camp, but um, otherwise, go back to base so you can talk to the Elder Melda and they can say, Oh, you got us dreams down the shard. I was just going to just mention that. Like, yeah. from what I can tell so far, the advantage of fighting tempered monsters is they give you stream, sh stream stone shards, and yep. apparently there are higher level shards, and if you take those to the Melda, you can turn them into decorations, I think? That's correct. Uh, this oh, is where the gadget yeah, was going to I got fight. a trophy for uh, killing a tempered monster. Good job! Nice! Now, would you believe that's the biggest Barath I've ever fought? I would believe that, because that's the same biggest Barath I've ever fought as well. I mean, as Barraths biggest, go, that's quite big, but... Biggest Barath I ever did see. It wasn't the biggest Barath I thought. It's strange. I'm sure there must be bigger Baraths somewhere. I think we probably have time for one more hunt. What do you reckon? I think so too. That's a good point. I should have been picking up the unknown tracks. I'm very sorry. I was too busy chasing after the Barath. Yeah, you gotta get the tracks so we can fight the big monsters. So we can actually do the real quest. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting that quest to be over that quickly. No, me neither. The, the Nergigante? The, uh... We could fight the Nergigante again. We could fight the Nergigante again and get more parts for swords and stuff. I do want to make... See, the thing is, I've got to make two swords as well. That's twice as many. I, I have an investigation with Nergigante, so that would give you more stuff. I think I quite like how the investigations work. I think it's a pretty good method for helping you grind out uh, rare parts. Me too. I think it's a very nice system. Robin, Hitomi, would you like to go fight another Nergigante? I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't sound very enthusiastic. No, it sounds No, great. that's just Robin's jaw from when he got slapped <laughs> before. It's so being reset. Uh, I'm afraid we did actually already fight the uh, Basil Juice, yeah. It gave us a little bit of trouble. That fight in particular seems very... I don't want to say dice roll, because that's not true, but depending on how your luck is, that fight you can get very thoroughly styled on. Which one? The, ba the Basil Juice? Yeah. Depending on how those corn, co uh, sorry, corn kernels come out. I suppose so. I think like the tricky part is figuring out how predictable it's going to be, you know? Like, figuring out... Being able to predict where all the different pieces are going to be landing. Really? Yeah. The, yeah, it's not that bad when you understand where it spreads them and you, ver you very thoroughly avoid the corn cobs. Like, I... Yeah, the game is filled with RNG. 
but it's also not mm, filled with orangey. <laughs> filled with orange. There's I a lot of orange. The basil juice does look a bit orangey, doesn't it? There's lots of oranges in this game, but it's not a thing where you just hope you get lucky in quests. You you have to be good enough. Yeah, like I'm not uh, like I said, I'm not out here saying it is a roll of the dice, but it seems like if if the, if the little things explode in the right formation, you could be in trouble. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm gonna see. Uh, I've already no investigations as well, actually. Also, there's an upside of bone piles, so go and search as many as you can find. I should probably press the button that says I'm ready. Which monster is the most orangey? That's a good question. Honestly, it's it's probably either the basil juice or the lava todas, right? Hmm. I really don't like fighting the Rathalos because it keeps flying all the time. It used to be a lot worse. I've seen a video, I think it was of Monster Hunter 1, where it would touch down for a few seconds, then immediately fly okay. away. But like, everything is worse in Monster Hunter 1. <laughs> Has, like, have you all actually played the PS2 Monster Hunter? No. I played the demo of it and didn't get it. What's it like? You use the right handlock stick to swing your weapon. Cool. <laughs> I've only played um, Monster. Oh no, I left. Oh, I'm done. What? Did, w was everyone ready? I oh, think... um, was Hitomi ready? I don't think Hitomi was ready, but that's okay. She can join. Uh, I can they always can, forget can join. that. I always forget that people who are not ready are kicked out. It's a very odd way of doing it, isn't it? Mm. As opposed to just bring them along when they are ready. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they weren't ready. Yeah, I'm That's sorry, fine. I uh, forgot. They, can, they should just be able to join us uh, mid-quest. Yeah, but it feels so rude. Well, that wasn't that was between you and God. <laughs> We're getting back into church swears, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to change my charge blade. Charge swear. You couldn't change your equipment in previous Monster Hunter during the hunt. No, oh, it's so good. And like, if you forgot to eat in previous Monster Hunters, you just say, well, start yeah. again then. Yeah, I saw... same. I saw Ragni go in the tent, but I can't, I can't see her anymore. <laughs> oh, okay, you were there the whole time. <laughs> it's, it's a Doctor Who tent. It doesn't look poorly rendered. <laughs> Oh. Robin, are you still in the tent? I'm in a different tent. Wow! Advances in, in tent technology. It needs to be church technology. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, the advances in church technology are just where they make smaller and smaller ones, so it'd be cathedrals. It's a, it's a TARDIS tent. tent dis? That sounds like a disease. <laughs> or a sport. <laughs> no. Uh, no, it sounds like someone smashed tennis up with something else to make that sport. It's, it sounds like someone's wrong with your teeth. <laughs> oh. Oh, actually, I've just remember. This is this is a complete aside, but I just remembered back to ages ago where one of my friends, whilst in university, invented bike tennis. Oh, fucking hell. Where you uh... ride a bike whilst playing tennis, and you know what? That might be the most dangerous thing I've ever seen. Found the nerd. I don't understand how that would work. Um, Is it like jousting? No, you play tennis, but you're just both on bikes. I can imagine... Okay. This is going to sound crazy. I can imagine that working on unicycles. <laughs> you're right. That does sound odd. Well, because you need your hands. Yeah, but, and also you can't really go backwards on a bicycle. But you could on the unicycle. But, I'm but, on but the Dante. surely, like, uh, surely it would be safer to ride a bike with one hand than to ride a unicycle. Am I just not good enough at the unicycle? Well, that's the thing. I see people riding unic unicycles going back and forth, but if you're riding a bicycle, you can't really reverse, can you? Yeah. No, but you, you can do a quick turn. Are you already on them? Yeah, oh. Ragni wastes no time. No, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm jumping on the monsters as soon as I can. I just got you. <laughs> I, 
I have been here so so little time that my stamina bar is not currently oh. visible. Bye. Sorry, Tommy. I always, I always do my guard point way too early on that. Is guard point the parry? Yeah. Oh, that is a problem then. Because it, it rears up and I go, ha ha, fuck you. And then it waits a second and then slaps me in the face. And then they do whatever the Nergigante version of shouting fuck you is. Yeah. I think it's just screaming. It's just breaking my jaw. That's what it is. <laughs> And you know what? You have fewer jaws than they have. Hmm. There's spikes, I guess, really, isn't it? Ow. Did it again. Such an easy mark, as it turns out. <laughs> Knock the spines off of them. Yes. Yes, and that makes his attack less uh, dangerous, I think. Ooh. There are some attacks where um, it will, as a follow-up to some of its slams, shoots uh, spines out. It's got barely any, like, lead-up to that. It can just do that whenever it feels like it. That's scary. Ow. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's, I... that's why I, I prefer to fight with a weapon that has a shield. Yep. Uh, but the basic thing is, if you see it, <laughs> that's, the worst, that's the worst yeah. attack it has, by the way. Uh, I had not seen that one before, I'm sorry. That one's, yeah. that one's really mean. That's going to be the Nug experience. I, like, the fact that we won our first time round is not the Nug Gigante experience. I'd just be home having some steak to cure my wounds. Understandable. Have a great steak. <laughs> I'm very glad that people are out here trying to figure out the technicalities of how to make bike tennis work. <laughs> <laughs> Ivy has a good point that for tennis you probably want skates. Oh! You know what? Tennis on skates, that sounds like quite a good sport. Shh. Okay. You nearly saw me eat shit, Danny. Welcome back. Sorry, I immediately ate shit as soon as I arrived. The Nugget like Gante experience, me. Ow. Bro, let me get that tail. Bro, oh, let me get that tail, bro! Oh, I forgot to refill my potions. Oh, I'm sure we won't need that many for this fight. Hmm, bro, let me get that tail, bro. Are you all right, Robin? Let me get that tail. It clearly doesn't want to let you. That's why I'm asking. Nicely. You said bro twice. That's not nice. Bro, please let me get that tail, bro. Oh, sorry. You did say please. I'm sorry. Oh wait. Hey Danny, check this out. No! You're gonna hit me again. No, just showing off how good I am at sharpening. Oh. Yeah. Is it safe now? Yeah. You put your safety salve on it. <laughs> Do you have to have like a special safety version of the sword in case you hurt yourself? I think... You can hurt yourself with any sword, really. What about like a training sword? You know what, actually, that's a lie. If you got bumped on the head me. with a wooden sword, that would still be pretty miserable. Yep. Oh no, I'm looking at Danny very scared of the sound. It's so loud! It's very loud. <laughs> you need it's... some earplugs! I would love to get some earplugs. Let me get that tail cover. Ah, guess what? Where guess where I am? Uh, <laughs> is it on top of the monster? Oh. <laughs> Your natural habitat. Look, I just love being on top, okay? <laughs> just love being on top of things. Beautiful. It does look like fun. It's very fun. Oh, God. Bye, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. It's alright, I'm just doing stunts oh, now. Boy. I think I was on my feet for about maybe 50% of the entire time they were down. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I 
dodged that so close. Shut off. <laughs> <laughs> no, you see, Ragni was in the middle of saying something else. She wasn't just like, I dodged that. <laughs> Not like that clumsy Robin. <laughs> Look, I gotta be proud of myself when I actually do something good. Yeah, you've been doing a lot of some things good. It's just I'm good at video games. Oh, we got skulls. We got skulls. Oh, we you got mean skulls. oh, you mean they're about to? Okay. Yeah. What, what do you think I meant? This oh, is very oh, exciting. <laughs> hey, hey, everyone! I've got a skeleton. I've just skull. realized. We got skull over here. That's my uh, impression of Dennis Nedry. I got, I got a big, big, big attack charge ready for it. <gasps> Wait for them to have a little sit down first and give them your gift. Yes, 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 I want that tail. Okay, let me do it. Let me, let me... Uh, where is... Where is the front and where is the back? It was over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's all curled up in a circle, you can't tell. Uh, oh, I missed. <laughs> oh no. Oh well. Well, I hit the monster, but not the tail. There we go. Tail. The tail is cool. cut. Uh, I got it after all. It sounds like you didn't even really need to do the fancy attack. You want to hit it with the bit where you bring the sword down, or with the axe down, because um. Yay. Yeah, that's what I tried, but sometimes yeah. I misjudge. Getting the spacing on that one is tricky. Yeah. I, I, I think... always misjudge. I've seen there are strategies for like figuring out how to get the right distancing. Like with great swords, it's got a three-hit combo uh, to the true charge slash, which is the most damage. Um, and like apparently for that one, you want to be as close to the as you can, then roll backwards and start doing the combo then, and you're guaranteed to always hit it in the face with the full attack. Oh, I can eat again. If I was good at charge plate, no, if I was good at great sword, I would put that into practice. But I'm not, so I won't. What was that small blue ball? Is that is that wind fire? I think that's the time you're throwing Hadoukens. Oh, okay, that's fine. I've always kind of known they had the ability to do that. It's a Tommy a Monker Wizard. Do you have a Mega Buster? No, it's the um, Street Fighter stuff. Oh no! <sighs> oh no, they got angry about the about the fireballs. Oh. You gotta get back there now before you kill it. It's alright, there's no one left to mount it. It's also... It's... If only you could domesticate and ride an Irby I don't want to, it's all spiky. It's very spiky. It'd be I bad to, to ride. Also, if I was going to ride any monster, it would be the Dodogama. I think they're my favorite. Anyway. They're very cute. Very cute. They're very they silly. No, I want to ride an Irby Your funeral buddy. <laughs> just make myself a saddle. It's okay. Where would it go? It's, if it's domesticated, we can trim a few spikes. Mm, I mean, isn't that basically de decoring? That's quite cool. Cool. Uh, where's... Where's Rackney? Rackney's here. I'm here. The tail should be here somewhere. Yeah, she turned Don't up. That's why it died. It's in the same area. It is a lot like, like a lot more like Nerd Gigante. You're right. Yeah, the giant nerd. See, you're saying like, oh, it's really troublesome, but they've not been really troublesome so far. I know how to ride right them. Can you capture them at all if they're not vulnerable to traps? You can't no, capture. No, you right. can't. You can't capture Elder Dragons or the tail. Where's the tail? It's over here. Hmm? It's, it's over, over here by here. Robin. <laughs> I was trying to interrupt you too, but it doesn't really work with a piercing pod. Just rude. Just 
rude is what it is. Yeah, well, you know what? So is literally flexing over the over the tail of the thing you just killed. <laughs> have some decorum, Robin. I don't even have to spell that. Wow, that's a cool picture! Well, other than the fact I'm wearing a broken vitality mantle in it. Oh, there well. is so much motion blur in mine, I can't even make out what's going on. My, my picture is just me, like, uh, lowering my sword on the Nergigant's head. Fuck. That's a pretty fair summary of what happened, though. I should pose that picture. Wow, I got a water resistance duel. <laughs> I got the Rodeo Champ award. <laughs> nice. That's, again, very fair. <laughs> Thanks for the water resist duel. I'm going to put it straight into the melding pot. Is the melding pot like the bin, except sometimes the bin makes new gems? Pretty much. Hey Danny, this is new for Monster Hunter World. Did you know that you can upgrade your decorate uh, your charms? I did. I only learned that yesterday when my brother came around and he actually had to sit me down and tell me that he could do that. It's yeah, that's... like you had to be sat down and told how to work the game. Yeah, it's a Monster Hunter game that happens. <laughs> that, you, I told you about the triangle button, and now you give me this kind of lip. Unbelievable. No, I'm I'm agreeing. <laughs> I need to upgrade my stone charm. The charms seem like they're going to be very powerful, but also it seems like I need to invest an awful lot of materials in them. Yeah, sometimes yeah, it takes need... quite a bit to get to second level and then up to third level. You might even need some real end game parts. I or... need to kill a Titsuyaku for this one. Oh. I remember them. Right, Titsuyaku. Maybe we could do that after the stream. Also, speaking of after the stream... I think for now, we should go up to the Gathering Hub, because I think we're about coming up to time. Yeah. Just enough time to load in the Gathering Hub. Honestly, considering we had very lofty ambitions when we started today, I think that went very well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Ragdy. You made us all look bad. <laughs> <laughs> Always so incredibly negative about this, Robin. You should, you Sorry. should invite me more often if you want to ride some dragons. I wasn't being negative. I was saying Ragni is really good. But if you, in a very negative Ragni, way, you do, you do all the dragon riding for us. Mm. Wait, what button do I want? That one. It's bedtime. Also, there's Raspberry Ripple. We haven't seen them much, but they dress like a little jester. <gasps> Who else is using a little jester? You've got you've got them dressed like a little jester too, Robin. Got a jester, but they've also got really hairy arms and legs. Like a jester. I, like jesters yes. do. Where's it, Toby? They're not here yet. Please, there they please are. Come on, just disconnect the camera so we can get free camera in this bit specifically. Yeah, it's just please, just just a photo name, please. Photo name, photo mode rather, please. That's all we need. Should I post the um, uh, squad code, the session code in the uh, chat in case people want to join us? That's probably a very good idea. And while I'm doing that, I'm also going to post a link to the Discord so anybody who wants to join can come join us. You're getting so slick at this. Thank you. I've had media training. Wow. Hitomi did <laughs> the fireball and now they're totally just like posing like your man from Street Fighter. <laughs> You know, you yeah. have a Street Fighter with the white pyjamas and he does that pose. You need, you need a Street Fighter V save file to get that. Yeah, it's, it's kind of disappointing, isn't it? Uh, I don't, I... don't want to buy Street Fighter V. I'm bad at fighting games. Yeah, I don't want to buy it either, but that Sakura costume... No. Yeah, no, it's her. That Sakura costume is really cute and it makes me really sad I can't get it. That's right, Matt. I'm talking about Skullomania. Hitomi's doing the Skullo Dreams pose. That's that's the best move from Street Fighter, incidentally. For now, I think we should probably call it. It's very, it's getting very late. Thank you ever so much for joining me, Robin, Ragni, and Hitomi. Y yes. Hi. <laughs> Yes is as good a response as any. <laughs>
yes to all three of you. It's been an absolute pleasure. Um, but we probably need to go. We'll see you again on Wednesday. Bye. 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 Call, call me if you want to hunt a dragon.